Hey everybody, it's Briggs all. hello. Uh, just on my way home from my walk. It's cold, although it's quite sunny. Uh, it's windy, as you probably can hear. And uh, my shoes are squeaking. <sighs> and I'm knackered. <sighs> uh, so it's day 25. And uh, got a nice little video coming up, so enjoy. Hey everybody. It's day 25, it's the 25th of February. It is a Tuesday and I've just come home from work. You've seen the little video before so you know that I've done a bit of a walk and um, I've done about 2.28 miles today. 2.28 miles. Thumbs up, yeah. So that's going to update the thing. Bop. And um, yeah, all good. Now I said in the video that you'd just seen the little one that it was, this is going to be a good video so I'm going to do my best to make this video good and to the point and uh, coherent which is going to be difficult because I'm a rambly person so let's give it a go shall we? Anyway, what I want to talk about today is my calves. Now some of you will know my history with calves, some of you won't, some of you won't understand what the pain is all about and some of you uh, may not give a shit. So let's begin. Now, back in the day, and I'm talking back in the day, I'm talking like 2001, 2002, I used to play a lot of football, I used to play a bit of rugby, I used to do, I used to play tennis, I used to play cricket, uh, I used to run long distances, uh, cross country, 1500, 800 metres, it may not seem very long, but it is for me a long distance, especially now. And I used to be fairly decent in them. In fact, I was so decent at them, especially the 1500 meters that I um, was in in 2000. I was um, in the county athletics um, event that they put on, and I came second in the 1500 meters. I can't remember the time. I've got a certificate somewhere that proves that I've done it. I can't be asked getting it out. I could do, but I'm not going to go to that length. Anyway, my point being is that I was very active. I was very energetic. I had a lot of um, time for exercise. Let's put it that way. I enjoyed a lot of the stuff that I did, especially the, the sport, not particularly the running. The running was more of... Um, I don't know. I don't know why I like running. I, I, at one point, I also did... Um, High jump as well. I was pretty good at high jump. Um, that's because I'm a lanky bastard. Oh, I was that back then. Anyway, um, I'm going off topic. The topic is really that since about 2002, I started to develop a problem with my calves. Now, this problem with my calves seemed quite simple. It, it, this, my calves just won't work very well. They'd start to cramp up after a short period of exercise. Um, they would cause me not to be able to walk or run or do any sort of exercise after about 20 minutes of, of, of exercise basically they went dead or they started this cramp which is not a good thing so I went through the process of doing um, what was it physio and the physio would just pummel the shit out of my calves just purely to try and get them back into some working order and the more and more physio I had the kind of the worst it got really because I was unable to do any sort of real exercise any sort of kind of work to do with walking to do with running to do with football or cricket so inevitably this led to me putting on quite a bit of weight I'm not going to use that as the complete excuse why I put on weight I obviously let myself go in a certain degree but the calves really did screw me up forward a few years up until a couple of years ago and my calves were a big were and still are a big problem you see I can only walk a certain a certain distance and a certain speed if I walk faster than I normally walk then I find that my calves start to flare up but the pain has changed somewhat it used to be very muscular very in the back of the calves rather than the front the back you know an actual calf type muscle injury Nowadays, the pain is coming from the front around the side of the shin on both legs. At the moment, 
my left is the worst and the reason for that is because when I twisted my leg about a week ago it obviously pushed something did something to my calf that really didn't it didn't like and so the last few days I've been walking with a really bad calf and this has been more of a muscular pain whereas before the pain was more of a dead pain like a like a pressure build up pain where you kind of just lose feeling in your legs now today luckily I've got rid of the muscular pain the muscular pain seems to have disappeared which is really nice because yesterday I really kind of pushed uh, the stretching and I, I put some deep heat on um, I did some of that, I put bandage on it, you know, like an elasticated bandage, give it as much support as possible. And then when I walk this morning, the first 10 minutes, usually it, it pops up and it just hurts for the rest of the walk. Today, the pain didn't arrive, and I was really pleased about that. What did arrive is the former pain, the former dead, in, dead, in, dead pain that happens when I walk for a certain distance or a certain speed. Which obviously annoyed the shit out of me because I, I'd have hoped that this pain might have been a side effect or 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 some form of catalyst that would spur my calves to produce better stuff, not hurt as much. Alas, it was a pain above a pain, as it were. So today I've struggled through 2.28 miles worth of dead leg, basically, on both sides. To begin with, it was just my left, and it got deader and deader and deader, and then I stopped. I stopped at work to do my work, and literally, as soon as I sat down, the pain disappeared completely. And I mean, it went, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, sit down, pe gone. I'm not hurting anymore. Fine, super. And then I walked home, as you saw in the earlier video, and within five or ten minutes, the pain started to reproduce, and I, as I walked and walked, the pain on the left leg decided to get even worse, 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 worse. And it wasn't a pain pain, though. I, when I say a pain, I really do mean a pain, but I mean it in a different way. I mean it in like a, you know when you sleep on your arm, for instance, and your arm goes completely dead, and you can't feel it at all? That's that's the type of pain. It's like an achy kind of shadow pain, as it were. I'd like to call it a shadow pain. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Shadow pain. Shadow pain. Next summer, shadow pain. Yeah, anyway, um, so as I walked home this last time, I um, my left leg started to hurt, and then the right leg started to hurt at the same time. Now, that hasn't happened for a while, and it's obviously a sign that I'm doing more and more exercise, which is a good sign that I'm doing more exercise, but it's also a bad thing, because it means that I've found a limit to how far I can go without kind of dying, as it were. Now, some might say, well, a deadening, deadening pain is not too bad. It, it doesn't sound like a really bad pain. You can just walk through it. I can't walk through it because when the dead pain starts to rise, it, it takes the entire lower half of my leg, you know, from the knee to the ankle. And it's right at the front, right on my shin. So every time I move forward, it just, it, it just feels like I'm... Uh, you know, I'm doing some kind of weird kind of thing. It feels like my legs start to go wobbly. I can't get through. I can't get through it. There's no way I can get through that. So I'm hoping that when I went to the doctors a few weeks back, which I'm still waiting for an appointment to see the ultrasound person, so they can have a look and see what is going down. Um, if I can get this sorted, I can walk further. I can walk faster, and I can actually start to do some real exercise rather than just doing couple of miles a day at kind of a half pace as it were because I don't walk very fast there's no two ways about it I don't walk very fast it takes me like 45 minutes to do the two miles and that's not particularly fast I mean it's a lot faster than I used to do don't get me wrong and it's and it's still quite an exercise you know I still get out of breath as you see when when you see the video before so these pains bother me somewhat and it can it it feels like a limit it feels like a barrier that i can't get through so i'm hoping that the ultrasound can do me some good and do me some just say yes there we go we know what it is we're going to sort it out on the other hand it could be completely weight related it could be because i'm carrying so much weight that my legs just like go oh, i don't want to carry it anymore and just deaden they're just dead up you know so, 
I'm hoping upon hoping that at some point in the near future I can find some answers I want these answers I believe I know the answer to why what the pain is It's called compression syndrome I want to know how to fix it I know that there are certain things that you have to go through one of which is surgery I'd prefer not to do that but if if, it, if it's the only option then I'm gonna take the option I'll take it because I need to get through it because in order for me to get fitter and fitter especially when I have my surgery for my my bypass then obviously I'll want to move forward and do more exercise because that's the point isn't it when you start losing weight the thing to do is to do exercise you tone your body up so you don't have to have all this flappy skin I know it's going to be there the flappy skin is something that you can't get away from and I'm subconsciously already saving the money for any kind of surgery that I may need to get rid of this skin if necessary or or I think there's ultrasound treatment that you can get as well which stimulates the cells and all this sort of stuff I don't know either way um, it's a barrier that I need to work through somehow or be it physio ultrasound weight loss those are things so I just wanted to you know kind of clarify some of these issues that obviously I, I kind of say oh I've got a bit of like, trouble I've got a bit of calf trouble this is the trouble that I have I've explained it as best as I can right let's move on to the comments I've missed I've missed like two days worth of comments so I'm gonna go and do the comments so this is day 23 comments is only a couple of comments congrats about becoming an uncle again from Richard Duck Free. thank you very much because I don't feel any different but thank you very much Agent Riley 2000 says, "I'll take your Reddit thing. You are God. You are good for for going out when your leg hurts and you're pooped. Inspirational. Cheers, Briggs. Fifty plus tomorrow. Amaze balls. Was it fifty plus yesterday? It was, wasn't it? I reached fifty. <sighs> so that was from Agent Riley 2000. Thank you very much for that. Day 24. Only a couple of comments. Bored will. B sorry, bizarre will." Keep it up, man. Yeah, keeping it up, keeping it going. Agent Riley 2000. Okay. Yeah, weird mood. To, weird mood today, matey. Grit your teeth and keep going. Not long left. Although I think you should keep going. Maybe just a mile a day, but don't stop. I kind of notice a difference in your face since you started the walks. A bit of a glow or something. Has your sleeping been a lot better or not much div? My my sleeping's improved quite a lot. I stay asleep for longer. Um, I find it easier to get to sleep. Um, I, you know, I go to bed a little bit earlier than I used to, and go get up a bit earlier than I used to on on most occasions, not every occasion. <sighs> and this, yeah, yeah, I do. Anyway, I've talked for like thirteen minutes now. It's not get, not good. Um, last thing is obviously I've. Hit a nice milestone of 50 miles. I've got 52, in fact, 52.79 miles. 78 miles, sorry, 78. Um, I've also hit another milestone. You may or may not notice that I have. This is the 400th video on this channel. I've hit 400 videos. That's, that's mad, really. That's just mad. <laughs> when did I start this channel? It's been about a year, I think. Let me just double check my first first video on this channel. You know, I'm just off on a tangent now. What the fuck? Use YouTube as bricks. Yeah, I want to use YouTube as bricks. Fucking, I swear to God, this Google Plus thing is shit. Shit as fuck, son. Shit as fuck, son. It's been March the 27th. I've put my first video up. So it's been over, this been under a year. Been about eleven months since I put up a video for my first video, which is really good, really good indeed. So it's been four hundred videos in about eleven months. That's not too shabby, shabby. Right. Anyway, off topic. <sighs> If you have any comments about what I've talked to you about today, if you want to know more information about certain aspects of who I am and what I do, then let me know in the comments below. I've also, um, as a celebration of uh, the fact that this is almost completion, I've only got three more walks to do. I've also, I've bought myself a little present as, you know, as a, yeah, you've completed it. 
it's not cut it won't be coming for another two or three days so I can't show you what it is I'll wait until then to actually show you what it is I know it's a bit preemptive but I've got three days left and unless I get struck down by lightning or I get killed or something I shouldn't say that but if I do then um, I should be fine shouldn't I so yeah so that's it I will see you folks tomorrow hope you've had a great day so far and I love you bye